doing the wallpaper. Prepping the walls. Step one. This is step one. Throw all these baskets on the wall. And remember. No hope and dope. No hope and dope. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna prep the walls. We got wood filler for the holes. Fill up the wood holes, get it all squared away before we put the wallpaper up. You do it right the first time or you don't do it at all. You do it right the first time or you don't do it at all. That's a quote from me. Yes. From the wisest Joe I know. We are going to have to take these off, but I don't think we should right now. Okay. I'll just see it because this stuff's poking through a little bit. Yeah. I have a nail file. It's a block. No. It has different thickness. That's not going to work. Okay. Then this just pops off. Once we take these down, it'll just come off.
I showed them. I got these from Amazon. This is Paisley. Joe bought me the other day and surprised me, and it was amazing. It's real. It's real. That's from Sugar Boo. That's from the flea market. We're still working on this. We ran out of wallpaper. So we'll finish that after. Here he is. <laughs> the man behind it all. We're live. We're two days behind putting the <coughs> video up. Well, no. We're right on time. We said we don't want to schedule with a lot of things, so why put a schedule with a video? Well, yeah, I guess. I guess that's true. We've been very busy. Yes. What have we been doing? Uh, well, what's the timeline? We had planned on kind of leaving, like, we knew, well, this whole time we were waiting on our tags to come in uh -huh. and to register the vehicle. And once that came in, we knew we were going to start heading somewhere. Although, well, previously when we had um, gotten the RV, we have, we go to this Bible study at our church. Our church is great. And there Where's was- Where's our church? Our church is in Manassas. It's a living faith church. Um, we do a Bible, a Bible study on Wednesdays and every time this woman spoke, uh, she just always spoke to my heart, like everything she said. And, uh, you know, to get to know her more, she had a farm out in Edinburgh. And uh, I don't know, like all of this whole adventure, like we had these God dreams and they would like bring us joy in our heart. And we would say like, oh, maybe we should do something with that. So, you know, one day maybe driving home from church or something, I have no idea, but at one point I had this daydream where I was like, oh my gosh, what if we could go to, knowing that we were gonna head south soon, maybe we can stop off at their farm and help them, if, you know, if they need anything. So that happened like maybe a month ago. And then now that we have our tags and the thing is registered, I said, oh, maybe this is the time. And I just texted the woman and asked if she needed help. And sure enough, you know, to talk to her more, it turns out, you know, they have needed some help recently and haven't really had anyone. So I believe that like God put that back on my heart at the perfect time to be able to help them in this season that they're in. So we have gone to Edinburgh and uh, that's where we've been for the past, since Tuesday, yeah, almost a week. And we're helping them make a patio. She really wanted a patio. She hosts people at her house and she does amazing with cooking, you know, um, and hosting people and speaking life into people. So her house was kind of outgrow her, her plans are outgrowing the house. So we wanted to help her. She had the idea to do a patio outside so she can take some of the living outdoors and the hosting dinners and Bible studies, Bible studies and all that outdoors. Uh, you know, it's been some manual labor. Luckily, I have been doing a lot of cooking with her, so that's been great. They also, at this farm, uh, we'll put the information in the description if you guys went to check them out. Um, but she does a lot of pre-made food as well. Like she makes the food with the meat from the farm for the clients to buy, for those that, you know, maybe it's easier to just put some put some soap on the soap, soap, some soup on the stove and she does the pre-made meatballs, which are really yummy. So I've been doing a lot of cooking. Joe's been doing a lot of outside things and I kind of jump around where I can. And it's been beautiful. It has, it's a beautiful location. We're out in the middle of nowhere, which we love. But would you say this is part of what our ministry is? Yeah, well, we're finding out what our ministry is. We're finding out what we're called to do, but I think just like how all of this began, you know, when I feel little, when we feel little tugs at our heart or things that we know, you know, you know, when you know, sometimes we have this like innate knowing if we will sit quiet enough. And this felt like what uh, I knew we were supposed to do. So this is what we're doing right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Before we left, we were supposed to leave on, we were leaving on Tuesday to drive out here. And then that Wednesday night previously at church, there was a woman that was about to have a baby and I felt like God wanted me to cook for her. 
So I went and I talked to her and I prayed for her and I asked her about cooking. Well, I think I just like brought it up to her and was like, you, you know, you could be eating these things after, after delivery to help your body. And then in telling her that she was listening to me so like intently, like she knew or like, so, uh, like intimately, I guess, like the eye contact we kept making as I was telling her what she could be eating. I was, I just saw myself making her this food. So we, we got to do that before we left for this adventure. So we're finding out very, I'm finding out very quickly that, um, I really just go with my heart at all times and I don't know, getting feedback from it lets me know that we're in the, we're in the right arena. Does that make sense? Feedback is important. I mean, sometimes just like even, you know, a month ago, I've had the little, the, the daydream of going to this farm and helping this family, you know, I'm just keep, I don't know, in everyday life. I feel like more seeds are being planted and sometimes it might be last minute, but we still know that we want to go south, <laughs> but, uh, I'm also seeing that, you know, even around here with the people that we've known this long in the communities we've been a part of, you know, we have special people that touch our hearts and we'd like them to know that we appreciate them and, and love doing life with them. So. Maybe if we can help give back with those people for a little bit, I'm not opposed to that either. It might be cold, but I think loving people totally trumps the cold. Tons of delicious food, um, hard work, feeling like we're making a difference, even a difference in just one family's life. Like that's it. But guess what? That's just like the, how do you say the ripple effect? Yeah. You know, so that means, like you said, you're building something that's going to last forever there. So anyone that she invites over, uh, you know, for dinner or whatever, their life is going to be impacted by this area we're building as well. Yeah. Love it. That's the idea. Do you want to say anything else to the people? Um... Yeah, I think you guys learned from me. Like, we don't know what the heck we're doing yet either. But just like, even at the grocery store or like at work, like if there's someone that you never really spoke to, but you always notice that person or you have like ideas about this person or you th you notice yourself thinking about someone or, you know, I don't know. I just think God puts things on our heart and in our mind sometimes that... It's for a reason, and if we never act on it, then we have no idea, and we've just let the moment kind of pass us by, and what if we could have helped positively affect or impact that person, and then again with the ripple effect, it's just like, it keeps on getting bigger and bigger, like these tiny little seeds of even to speak to someone. That's why, like at the grocery store, if I walk by someone more than twice at the grocery store, I'm like, okay, that was God, and I literally will stop and talk to them about something in their cart or see how they're doing or say hi how are you even something as simple as that just spreading love and light and looking people in their eye to let them know that you know that they are alive because very easily we can forget and we feel like robots and we're just looking down all day at a screen we gotta get it back up here I was yeah, I just think that we don't do that often enough and in the day and age that we're in we need to remember that we're not, you know, not together. <laughs>